Today we shall be creating a simple modern resume template in Google Docs. Creating a Google document. Let's go to Google Drive. Right click and select Google Docs. We also need the content for the resume. So I'm copying the text from a fake profile and pasting it into the newly created Google Doc. Cleaning text. Let us add space to separate sections and make it understandable. In this format, the degree comes before the university. So let me bring the Bachelor of Science to the top, followed by the University of Minnesota, which has to be in the title case. Let's move the text onto the next page to make some space to arrange the main content here. Page dimensions. First, let's set up the page. Go to file, page setup, leave everything to default and only change margins to 0.5 for each side. Two sections. In order to have two columns, we are going to insert a table. Go to insert, table and select the first two boxes. This inserts a table with two columns and a single row, which is all that we want at the moment. Text format. Shift A to select the entire text, then change the font to Times New Roman. Now leaving name, select rest of the text and set text size to 11 main formatting. Insert the name in second column, leaving some space for the image which shall be added later. Below it goes contact and mention address, phone number and email here. The objective goes below the name. You can mention your title name. Below it goes objective and then work experience. The work experience requires some formatting. The city state goes towards the right end. To format this, place your cursor before city, then press tab on your keyboard. Now, hover your cursor on the scale near the point 20 and left mouse click, select add right tab stop. This aligns city state towards the right margin. Select the city state and format it to italic and bold the company name. Let's copy this format using paint format and insert on the next company. Paint format this edit on rest of the locations. Also add necessary bullet points. Once this is done, cut the first experience paragraph and insert in the second column of the inside table. Drag the central divider to the left, leaving one centimeter space. Insert the rest of the experiences on the respective rows.
volunteer experience goes next to the ta- inside table clear unused lines to make it clean bold the text work experience then select format paragraph styles border and shading this opens a window check the border width for 1 point else set it manually to 1 point and leave the rest of the default settings use the paint format to duplicate the format on similar headings contact education and volunteer experience add the skill section on the first column and mention relevant skills the timeline for the timeline bar search for a dot symbol then copy it and paste it in the first row add the vertical line on each line covering the first row change the line spacing to 0.7 with 0 point in paragraph spacing and apply add more vertical lines to cover the entire row duplicate this first timeline section to the rest of the rows I'm not satisfied with the dot so replacing with a slightly bigger dot and aligning the vertical lines below this dot. The line was not matching with the dot so let's pull the vertical lines. Yep, it now looks fine. Let us now add an image. I shall be adding a temporary image from Google which has to be replaced with your professional profile photo. Final changes. Select the first table, more options, line width and then choose zero point. With this, the boundary line will be disappeared. Background Let's also add a clean background on one side. Search for a rectangular background and add it on the next page. Crop the boundaries to remove unnecessary colors, then rotate it vertically and control X to cut it. Go to the header section of first page, paste the image from the options below. You can find behind text select this this allows text to float over the image scale the image to fit the entire page right click on image select image options toggle positions select fix position on page and adjust y axis to the background image to cover the top portion of the page still staying on the image options toggle recolor and pick light shaded of the blue color finishing touches select the inside table more options and set the border width to 0 point which disappears the border lines the job You have now created a simple and elegant modern resume by yourself. I shall also be linking the template of current resume in the description. If you find the tutorial useful, please like the video and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.